Hello everyone, this is Krishna Priya and in today's video we will learn about how to create a REST web service from developer client. So if you look at agenda, we will understand what is a REST web service in uh, IDQ, what are the different ways of creating a REST web service and the steps that are required to create a REST web service. I will also show you the demo of those steps. We will end up with a summary. So to begin with, what is a REST web service? At Informatica Data Quality, a REST web service is a web service that can process a HTTP request and returns a response in the form of a JSON or XML file. So for example, if we have a web browser or an external application which can send a request to our REST web service, then the REST web service will process that request and returns it back to the client in form of a JSON or XML file. So looking at the different ways to create a REST web service, we have three ways. One is to create the REST web service manually, create the web service from the data object and directly deploy the data object as a web service. In this demo, uh, I will show you how to create a web service from a data object. So when you go to the developer client, when you right click on the data object, you will see a deploy option deploy as a REST web service. So you can do that uh, deploying a data object as a REST web service and for manual creation you can go to this option when the response message contain, um, contains data that the resource mapping need to calculate. So if you look at the steps that are required, we have uh, six steps that are required us to create a REST web service from the developer client using a data object. I'll show you each and every step in the demo and explain you how can we create a REST web service in a developer client using a data object. So let's move on to the first step of creating a REST web service. So the first step will be creating a REST web service resource. So when you create a REST web service resource, you will define the structure of the response. So the basic use case of our, of our REST web service is to provide the order details. So if you can see, I have two flat files here. Both of them will be used as a data objects for this REST web service. To do that, first of all, we need to create a data service. I am creating a new data service. So as we are going to create a REST web service, we choose a REST web service and give the name of the REST web service accordingly. And then we are move on to the next. So here we need to create uh, the REST web service from empty because we are doing it from the scratch. So we do not use any of the data object. So we will start creating the REST web service from empty. So once you select create empty, you will see this uh, window where you can name the resource. You can provide a description. You can see I have named here orders resource and I have uh, described it as what it does. It returns orders by the customers and also it will help us to create the elements of the response and the elements in the transformation. So what does it have? I have created the customer name and the customer key and also the order. So these two will be the inputs for our, our transformation and these will be the outputs. So I've created them uh, with the uh, corresponding data types and make sure you click this uh, or this make sure this is selected now you can click finish to create this rest web service so once you click finish uh, you will move to this window where you can see your rest web service this is the representation of your rest web service after we create the REST web service, the developer client will create a Zen REST web service output transformation. So uh, before we, need, we can check what is the REST output transformation, we need to go to the order resource mapping. So we need to define the resource mapping of uh, what will be the input, how we will get the input and what port should be matched in the output REST uh, transformation. So to do that from this window, you need to go to the overview and in the overview, you will see the um, mapping. So this is generally the get operation that we have selected and this is the mapping. So if you click on this, uh, you will open the order web service resource get mapping 
So here you can see I have already have the rest output transformation and two more uh, transformation a retransformation and a lookup orders. So defining it the read customer transformation reads the customer table. So the transformation returns all the customer rows in the table. So generally this we do a data preview will get all the data of all these rows. And the order lookup is nothing but a lookup transformation on the order table. So we need to return the ordered order details to the rest web service. So that data will be returned from this lookup table. Now coming to the output, this is nothing but our uh, rest output transformation. This will receive input from the read customer transformation and also it will receive input from the lookup order transformation. So the read will receive about the customer details and depending upon the lookup strategy or lookup condition we give, the lookup transformation will give the order details. Uh, so as you know from the read we'll be taking the customer information like customer id and the name so i've taken the customer id and given it to the customer key and the first name to the customer name so i'll give more details about what i have done in the lookup table so i've created a lookup transformation on orders table so if you see the data object here will be the orders and as soon as i created the lookup transformation i created one port as a customer in so we will also take the customer's um, id into the lookup transformation too so because uh, once we have the uh, customer's id in lookup transformation we'll match it with the id in the orders table and we will output the output the orders details which has a match so for that we need to define the lookup condition so if you go to the lookup condition, I have taken customer in which is an input port that means which we get from the retransformation and then the uh, customer ID which is a existing port in the orders table. So when these two match, we will output uh, some ports to the output rest transformation. So till now we just have defined the resource mapping we have created a read we have created a lookup but we still have the output uh, configuration so the third step will be the output mapping configuration so the rest output transformation receives data from the customer and order transformation and it returns in the form of a json file it can also return in a form of an xml file so in the um, if you see in the order resources we have to groups one is the customer group another is the orders group correct yeah so the parent group contains the customer details so this is the customer details and the child group contains the order details so when rest output transformation contains more than two groups the developer client generally what it does is it uh, creates keys to link the groups so if you can see uh, if you click on the output transformation ports you will not be able to see this but if you go to the output mapping you can see that the developer client has already created <coughs> the keys uh, keys called as keys order and keys order resources so this is a primary key key order resource is the primary key for the order resources and key order is for is a primary key for the orders so this f key is the foreign key that will help to group or link the orders to the order resources so now how we are going to map it i'm going to show it so each of the group need to have the customer id so i will map the key order resource to the customer id so how do you map it you do not map it like uh, like normal way of ports you select both the ports and here you have an option to call map so it gets mapped and also i have created one more port that will help me to map to the key order resources i made sure it is a string make sure the um, type and the precision are same and then i have to link these two because it's the order id and it should also be the order id and then the f key will be the customer string 
so yeah it's already created so we don't need to create it one more time so this is how you map the foreign key and the primary key in a in any web service uh, transformation so we have created a rest uh, web service now we need to do a data pre so if you see here uh, for the identifier 10 which is the customer id we have these other outputs as from the order table after successful testing of the data preview i have created an application with this rest web service and you can see a rest uh, web service url once you click this url you will be able to see the resource of this rest web service so you can see uh, it has redirected to the orders resource when we click on this orders resource we will get the entire details of the order uh, where the lookup condition is equal so these were the steps involved in uh, creating the rest web service from developer client so you can refer to this document for more uh, detailed explanation you can provide the feedback to the video at uh, support videos at readinformatica.com also at our twitter account infasupport thank you